Hello and welcome to The Drug Trip. This channel is here to feed the curiosity of those who would like to gain an insight to the effects of various drugs and substances through user experiences and stories, with our main goal being to entertain and reduce harm and abuse. We post regular trip reports every few days, so if you do enjoy these, we would really appreciate it if you subscribed. And more importantly, we love to hear our viewers' thoughts, opinions and experiences, so please leave something for us in the comment section and we may use it in a future video. Enjoy and be safe. I have decided to tell you about this trip report for reasons that are twofold. For one, I do wish to warn others of some of the complications I experienced on this drug. I have read many trip reports and done a lot of research, plus have personally experimented with it in the past and I believe what happened to me is less common. Secondly, part of my reason for writing this is selfish. I desperately need to help and a way of help integrate this experience to move forward with my life and this is an attempt of doing just that. I am a 33 year old female who is quite experienced with psychedelics. I really enjoy marijuana, LSD, mushrooms, ketamine, MDMA, 2CB, combinations of the aforementioned substances, and the list goes on. Prior to this experience I'm about to share, I had smoked DMT approximately 15 to 20 times, but usually out of a vape pen which cuts me off before I can really get a blast off dose, if you will. Some of those trips were really cool, and some of them were quite scary, but never so frightening it turned me away from my pursuit of crystal DMT. I spent years looking for it, and three weeks ago I finally found it. My husband and I both bought a gram and partook in a few small trips, working up the courage to take that blast off dose. So let me take you back four days ago, at approximately three o'clock in the afternoon. We decided it was time to try and travel to another dimension and meet the entities that we kept hearing about. I invited two of our friends over, we shall call them K and P. We used our rig to dab the DMT. P went first and blew her 40 milligram hit out immediately through her nose. Accordingly, she had a fun experience in which she was able to communicate with us still. Kay went next and did a smaller dose and came back 10 minutes later sharing about all the amazing visuals she had seen and the love that she had felt. My husband decided to go last. So finally, the moment I had waited for. It was my turn. My husband got the rig ready and poured 40 milligrams of Dimitri. I inhaled it all and laid back on the couch. Some grammatic song was playing, I cannot remember which, and as I held in the smoke, I closed my eyes and began to see hazy, dull colours and patterns. I thought to myself, this really isn't working, so I let the smoke out. I started to tell my husband that I needed more, but I couldn't get it out. What happens next is a bit of a blur, but this is my best recollection. So the trip goes as follows. All of a sudden, bright neon, elaborate patterns, spirals and jester-like clown people filled my vision. I was already terrified and could not understand what was going on. It is difficult to find words in the English language that describe a true DMT trip, but this is the only way I can think to describe it. It felt like one of the jester creatures grabbed me from behind and then grabbed my upper lip, stretching and pulling it over my head turning my face inside out. I found it quite difficult to breathe. At this point I was still lying down with my eyes closed. The jester then slammed me face first into the couch and then pulled me back up and tore both my eyelids open, forcing me to take an insane psychedelia before me. My husband and friends said at one point I bolted up to a sitting position with my eyes wide open, darting rapidly around the room. I think this coincides with the feeling of having my eyes torn open and being forced to watch the horror unfold. The words I was hearing in my head were, you think you can play with us you little bitch? I couldn't understand what was going on or what I had done to be treated like this. I don't even think I knew who I was, but I definitely knew something was horribly wrong. The next thing I remember is feeling like this jester had stuck jagged plastic down my throat and that I was actually choking to death. Outwardly, my husband and friends said I had started gagging and this is when they became concerned. 
Looking back, I'm sure the taste of plastic and the harshness of the smoke is what led to this feeling. But when you are that high and have zero ability to rationalise this, this gagging turned into me spitting all over the couch and my husband said it looked like I was about to throw up. Instead of throwing up, I had to try to stand, according to my loved ones who got me to sit me back down, and I began crying out, help, help, over and over. The jester continued to choke me, and I felt like I was losing the battle. I started saying, I can't breathe, I can't breathe. Finally, the trip began to re release its grip, and I could hear voices that were familiar, but the most familiar voice I could finally hear was my own. I heard myself begging for help and asking how to breathe. My husband said, I even said, help me you guys. And he said that notified him that I was coming back because I had some concept that my loved ones were there. I slowly came out of it and as I was coming back, that jester character was surrounded by beautiful colours and patterns and he was kind of dancing and smiling and laughing saying, come again little girl, we'll be waiting. And other eerie stuff like that. When I finally completely came round, I saw three very scared people surrounding me, rubbing my back, telling me that I was okay and that I was safe. I had no idea why they were telling me this, and I turned to my husband and said, What's going on? What's happened to me? And he replied, You did DMT. I began to cry. The whole experience was only around five minutes, possibly less, which is short even for DMT, I was later told but it felt like a lifetime. And so the aftermath. It's four days later. The trip is very difficult to remember visually, but the feelings are not. I can still feel that jagged plastic in my throat. I still feel sick to my stomach, and I still feel the anxiety and fear. I even had to leave work early the other day, and I begged my husband to leave work too, because I was anxious and scared, and I felt like the only safe place for me in this world was with him. I sincerely feel traumatised. The main entity I saw was mean. He was maniacal, taunting, violent and aggressive. I feel like I am on the verge of a panic attack as I am telling you this now. And the takeaways, well, when I started this I said I wanted to warn others and I don't mean about the intense hallucinations or entities. I have heard of horrible trips and I did not know that it was possible or even likely. I guess I didn't realise that I could ever be that aggressive to have a hallucination that was so terrifying and scary. But hey, it's DMT. Anything can happen when you alter that realm. It was in that entity's world and he had his way with me. What I really like and what I would really like people to be mind of of is that DMT can be physically dangerous. I always heard things like, you're so high you can't keep your eyes open and you can't move, you just lay there. Well news flash. I did both, and I could have hurt myself trying to stand up. Like that it was if my friends and husbands had not been there, things could have been worse. I didn't read about people almost choking or throwing up until I had started to research it after my experience. And even then, there isn't a lot of information on these side effects. Perhaps because it doesn't happen often, but it can happen. I would have a sitter. Someone who can definitely help you sit back down or throw up safely. I won't ever touch this substance again, and I probably won't consume any form of psychedelics until I'm able to integrate this experience. Please be safe.